Hi everyone, in this, uh, in this session we will discuss about resource allocation graph with deadlock and without deadlock. Okay. So we will see here. So here this is process P1. So process P1 is holding resource R1. Okay. Whereas process P2 is holding resource R2. Okay. So here uh, if you see if you identify process P1 is holding resource R1 process P2 is holding resource R2 ok so now process P1 process P1 is process P1 is waiting this is waiting process P1 is waiting for resource R2 Whereas process P2 is waiting for resource R1. See, process P1 is holding resource R1 and P1 is waiting for resource R2. Okay, and this process P1 is not releasing this R1. The process P1 thinks that when I get this resource R2, then I will release this R1. Okay, similarly, process P2 is holding resource R2. And it is waiting for resource R1. This process P2 thinks that I will release this R2 only when I get R1. When this R1 will be released, this R1 will be released by P1 when P1 gets R2. See, P1 will release R1 when P1 gets R2. P2 will release R2 when P2 gets R1. Here the deadlock has occurred. If you see here, if you see, you see, so R1 is being, P1 is holding resource R1, okay, P2 is holding resource R2, okay, right, so P2 is waiting for R1, okay, if it gets R1, if, if P1 gets, see, P1 is with holding R1, P2, holding R2 ok so P1 P1 is waiting for R2 ok when P1 gets R2 R1 will be released so if you want if this uh, P1 wants to release R1 it, it has to get R2 so if uh, P1 wants to get R2 P2 has to release R2. When P2 will release R2? When P2 gets R1. P2 is waiting for R1. Here the deadlock has occurred. Okay. This will not uh, finish. P2 will keep on holding R2. P1 will keep on holding R1. Okay. Why because P1 will release R1 when it gets R2. When R2 will be released, when P2 gets R1. So this deadlock, so the, the deadlock has occurred and P1 will hold R1 and it will be waiting for R2. Similarly P2 will hold R2 and it will be waiting for R1. Okay. This is what resource allocation graph with deadlock. So this is uh, another example. Resource allocation graph without a deadlock. Okay. Without deadlock. Okay. So here if you see process P1. See, we will write the example. P1 is holding resource R1. Is holding resource R1. Okay. Then what about the P2? Uh, the P2 is holding resource R2. Okay. P2 is holding resource R2. Okay. And uh, we have P3. P3 is waiting for resource R1 and P3 is waiting for resource R2. So P3 is waiting for, it is waiting for resource R1 and R2. Okay. So if you see in this example, P1 is not waiting for anything. P1 is not waiting for any other resource. So P1 is, P1 is holding resource R1. After completion of this resource, this R1 will be released. This R1 will be released. Okay. 
So now this R1 will be released. When this R1 is released, so P3 will hold that. P3 will hold that R1. Okay. We will show in this direction. So P3 will hold that R1. Similarly, this uh, resource R2 is R2 is uh, being accessed by P2. Or P2 is holding resource R2. P2 is not waiting for any other resource. So as soon as the execution is over, P2 will release. P2 will release this R2. Okay. When this R2 is released, again this P3 will hold resource R2. So here there is no point of deadlock. See, P1 used R1 and after completion of its accessing or execution, P1 will release R1 because P1 is not uh, waiting for anything. It is just holding. No hold and wait here. P1 is uh, not uh, holding and waiting. It is just holding resource R1 after the completion of its execution. P1 releases R1. So P1 is over. Similarly, this R1 can be, uh, can be allocated to process P3. So similarly, the process P2 is holding resource R2. Here also only holding, no wait. Okay. So after accessing this resource R2, P2 releases this resource. So this resource can be utilized by process P3. Now process P3 is uh, waiting for these two resources and when they get released, P3 holds these two. After finishing its accessing, it will release these two also. Right? So this is a graph allocation, I mean this is a resource allocation graph without deadlock. So in the previous case we have seen resource allocation graph with deadlock and this is without deadlock. Hope you have understood, you have filled, you have felt, sorry, you have felt the difference between with deadlock and without deadlock. Okay? Thank you.